Well, good morning. I hope you're doing well. So, I actually learned a little something about the game today. I know, after 14 years, I shouldn't have that much to learn, right? But I did learn that you can actually see quests on the, the mini-map that you are over level for. And how to do that is pretty easy. You go to options. You go to UI settings. And I believe it's down... Where was it? Oh yeah, and if you don't want your deeds added to your quest tracker and clogging it up, just don't check this one. Automatically add deeds to quest tracker. And in fact, we can turn the tasks off too. So tasks and deed will not show up in the tracker, just quest. Quest guide, I know it was in here. I thought it was in the same area as always loot on. Right here. So, under show equipped items only in repair UI, it says show trivial quest icons in radar. So when you click this on, you will see even quests that you have over leveled. Which is really handy because otherwise those are impossible to see and since we're out here in Mossward so out in the new starter area for the shadow I'm obviously not going to see these quest icons unless the map shows them to me so yeah that was a new thing and I hope maybe that was helpful for someone. There are a lot of little things in the UI that you can change. You can turn off blood. You can turn off certain spell and status effects. Well, you turn off seeing them. Obviously, you're not going to turn off the effect altogether. So... What are we doing? I don't know. We picked some flowers. And it looks like we have to kill some beast. Well, that's a beast right there. That worked. We also have to find some Kerbane, which is technically a beast, but I don't think it's going to count for this. Wolf should be a beast. Yep, there's a Kerbane. Because I guess Kerbane is... Oh, Kerbane... Do count for the beast deed. So let's go find some... Because we need several of those. I don't think we need anything from the other... The boar and stuff. So, I'll set that as the quest guide. Not that that's going to help a whole ton. We don't have a tracker like the hunter does, which is too bad. Finding lots of boar. Maybe we do that. We'll find our craven or Kerbane. I believe Kerbane is the plural and Kraben is the singular. Okay. I have discovered the Howling Stones. And it looks like I get to just run right through past all these wolves. Because, you know, <laughs> reasons. The warg isn't here, but you find some warg tracks to follow. The Howling Stone Warg. Hello. I'm sorry, but, um, can you go away? Thanks. Oh, 
follow the track south. We did follow him. Oh, I guess it doesn't count if we don't click on one. Ah, uh, really? Really, really. Oh, this one's going to be a pain in my behind. I see that now. I'm going backwards now. Okay, so. Something to note that you kind of do want to... Click on the warp tracks, even though usually you don't necessarily have to do that. I must face it. I am facing it. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this one's going to be so annoying is not making me want to continue doing the stuff here. Oh, and yeah, I've also been messing with the sound, so hopefully the game sound isn't too loud. And I'm loud enough without being too loud. Oh, hello, random person. I hope you're having fun. Come on. Click on it. I was trying to set up Lotro to work through the Steel Series Sonar app which seems to do a really good job at sound quality, but for some reason it doesn't like Lotro. <laughs> it's like won't even acknowledge that it, well, it acknowledges that it's on. Oh, freshly killed deer. Okay. I've inspected. The warg emerges from the shadow to defend its meal. Uh, there he is. Again. Can you die? No? Yeah? Okay. Alright, so we've gotten rid of the warg. Finally. So yeah, you do have to follow the tracks, and then it leads you to a dead deer, you kill that, or well, you check that, the war comes out, you kill that, and any wolves that aggro, and then you're done with it. So that's how that one works. I love wolves. Lots of wolves here. But yeah, what I was saying is that uh, Sonar and Lotar do not play nice together, so I don't know why. All I know for sure is I'll see if I can't look up the solution online, but in the meantime we're just going back to using OBS, at least for Lotro, for the sound quality. And I really hope I did it right. Okay, we were looking for Craven. Finding tons and tons of boar. Of course, apparently I'm not the only one out here doing this stuff, so that might explain why I'm having a little trouble finding them. Either that or they're just not 
here in this area. Okay, Old South Road. Or maybe it is a different direction. All right, let's go through. Find the how hill southeast of Howling Stones. The raid on Mosswood by that band of Uruks has left our defenses in a terrible state, friend. Okay, you want me to gather some. Mosswood is not the only village in Swanfleet. A stable master can help you check on the others. Okay, we'll check that out later. Right now, we are looking for other things. But thank you, Manel, dear. Table Master, provide a number of travel routes to speed your destination. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I can't go out that way. Because of course I can't. Go out this way. And of course, dude needs us to come visit his place too. Well, we found suitable branches. <laughs> nope, that's not a suitable branch. I mean, the Rowan branch, but it's not what we're looking for right now. Sometimes it is kind of nice to just do the little bitty side quest and not have to worry about aggroing everything in the process. <gasps> Craven! don't need any more. Okay. So we got all the craven. We need one more branch. Oh, look. It's a bandit. Excuse me. Can you please get out of here and leave these nice people alone? Thanks. The boar. There's a copper deposit in here somewhere. All right, let's find this last branch. Not the row one. No, not the row one. <laughs> it's gonna show me all the row and branches now. It's like, wait, you're looking for branches. Here's branches. Not those branches. But these are branches. No, not those branches. Yeah, this area looks really nice. The quests are a little slow and easy. I guess that makes sense. You're kind of easing somebody into the game who's maybe never played. Although, I thought for sure they suggested that Before the Shadows was better suited for people who have played through the game once or twice and just want a new place to start. I don't know, honestly, I'd say if you're a brand new player, go for it. Because it is a nice starting zone. Here's your branches. There you are. Let us see those feathers. But such musings will have to wait. For winter is approaching and autumn doesn't last. Oh, now you want me to kill boar. Okay. So I've got... Two quests in here to turn in. I have to go bring 
the branches to one person. And then I have to go talk to someone named Clud about the... There's Clud, I see him. So I have to talk to him about the warg I killed. What do you need? And I think we're done with that one. Now you are the one that wanted branches. Thank you for yeah. these branches. I will see to making use of them. Perhaps you could help me once again. Um, you want me to go talk to Scardy? Okay, we can do that. I, I don't mind stopping and saying hi to Scardy. He's a nice sort for a dwarf. What am I saying? I like dwarves. <laughs> they are pretty interesting characters. There we are. I went, I went right past it. Okay. Squeaky doors. Whenever anyone needs something, they come first to me instead of checking the storehouse. Well, I will tell them to go check the storehouse, but I guess for now we get to deal with some door hinges. Okay, so we need to go to the healer's house, which is right here, or the healer shop. Cadigan's house. Okay. There's a forge over there. Where is Cadigan's house? Nope. Nope. Random unusable door 589. That's the healer. That is the provisioner. I don't see any doors that need fixed in there. This, they're nice places. Can you imagine living in a medieval type town? It had to have been pretty interesting. Definitely know for certain that you weren't keeping any secrets from your neighbors. In a small town like this, everybody knows everybody and everybody knows everybody's business. There we go. How odd, the squeaking is only getting louder. A squeaking rat. Well, I don't know if that was how we were supposed to stop the squeaking. You put an end to the squeaking, though not the way Marion intended. <laughs> oh, I've forgotten how that one ends. <gasps> that was clever. I have to admit, whoever wrote that little side quest, that was clever. Okay. How failed your efforts against the squeaky doors of Mossward? Uh, uh, rats in the village. I don't like the sound of that. Well, sorry, I have nothing to do with rats in the village. You, you can deal with that yourself. Now we need to go collect some boar meat. 
Hopefully you count. I'm sorry, we should pre-cook our meat. Okay. Well, that, that uh, boar was properly barbecued. <laughs> to continue doing the quest because I want to get the reputation which is always a good thing but at the same time do I? maybe we'll just do the moss word stuff and then just uh, wander around the area a bit and then when we get bored running around the area a bit We'll just head back to Saradin. Because I do believe our next stop was Lonelands. Because we'd finished up Bree. We'll do a little bit here, head back, do some more of that, and then maybe come back and do a little bit of this. Just as kind of a break from doing the actual quest, hard questing. Well, not that any of it's been that hard. It might have something to do with the fact that I've done it about, I don't know, 500 times. Not that many times, but sometimes it feels like it. That's right. We need three more boar meat. Alright, go grab this copper, and while we're grabbing that, let's look around. Orkai. Oh, look, there's some Orkai. Oh, let's go harass the Orc. <laughs> oh, now I've got Orc Slayer Swan Fleet. A deed started. Okay, we harassed the orcs. Hey, come back here. Thanks. More copper. Hey, I'm finally remembering to grab this stuff at least. Or. And boar. Alright, so find the hill, hire one of the stable master's horses, find Geralt's missing boot. What else do we got? old. So we can skip that for the moment. We'll bring the boar meat back and then see. Actually we'll just bring the boar meat back because I just realized that I've been yammering on for a bit. Unfortunately, this area is very pretty, even at night. And it does seem like I've managed to come here at night both times. Oh, look. There we go. It's a nice view of the village. Yeah, that's a small village. But maybe it's a little bigger than a hamlet. 
So, guarantee, you know all your neighbors, your neighbors know you, and you're not hiding anything from anyone. Oh, copper deposit. Hardened Traveler. Oh, okay. Very good! This four meat should help carry Mosswood through some of the coldest winter months. Awesome. So it looks like we still have to find Geralt's missing boot. We need to find the hill southeast of Hallingstones. And Larry Grud is in Village is somewhere else so we can hide that. So Yeah, we will pick up and do a little more stuff around here next time. And I think after that we will head out to the Lundlands. Until then. Bye for now. <laughs>